guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be reacting to Beyonce versus country music industry CMA's snub Shabuzi They did, didn't they, huh? I really hope he would win something Flow's music gets criticized Oh, that's interesting And cash though, I don't know what about cash though But let's see Impressive Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel now, I want to talk about this. I normally don't talk about the Country Music Awards, but there has been a lot of chatter around it because the artist Shibuzi was snubbed. Now, he was nominated for Best New Artist, and also his single, Bar Song Tipsy, was nominated for Single of the Year. And this song has been number one. Hard for me to comment in, co like, in terms of country, because not exactly... Was he nominated or not nominated? No, I think he was nominated, he just didn't win. So. Oh, they already said if, if they win or not? I, I thought you received the so. nominations. Well, let me see when CMAs was. But anyway, uh, I was saying, hard for me to like say, you know, oh, he deserved it. I don't listen to I can't What's say. What's the number six? But based on the streams, he just extended his stream to, I believe, Ty uh, Lil Nas X for most number one ever. Just that in itself, there's no other country song more popular than this. So I feel like that should have been enough. On, on the charts for like 18 weeks. Yeah, it was last night actually. Mm. Oh, why, why we don't react to nothing then? Uh-oh. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. I think at this point, it's on the pace to actually tie in with Lil Nas X on Old Town Road and in Mike's Sir. I think not on the pace. I believe he has tied it, if I'm not mistaken. Pass it eventually. But yeah, it's one of the longest running number one hits in Billboard history. And the wow. fact that he lost was pretty messed up. I mean, yeah. the snub seemed pretty intentional so as one. well. And people were calling out the CMAs over it. They weren't happy at the fact that he got snubbed. They weren't. But I'm going to tell you why he was snubbed. Obviously, Ray... You want to react to the awards? Yeah, of course. Can we say anything it. about it, though? Do we don't have... We don't know I enough. mean, do we know the, like, the category that was in the, each categories? It's not really our show to really say anything about it. Uh, Based on, because we listen to the, like, we watch the numbers, we know the streams. Entertainer, album, single. Why not? Song. Yeah, but you don't know the songs. What, new new artists. Male vocalist. I think female. we should react to the major categories that we do know. All I know, you can't be Pablo if your work ain't selling. I, I, that's, let's not react to it, I will tell you who wants it. Oh, um, I guess. Uh, so, single, Chris Stapleton, White Horse. I don't know. I remember when we were looking at like uh, some like um, iconic songs on artists that made charts, Chris Stapleton was on there too. I remember seeing his name. I remember the name, but why? But the, I don't know the song. You know White who Horse. else was there and who, who didn't win? I had some help. Really? Post Malone? Yeah, and he didn't win? With uh, Morgan Wallen? Yeah. What category was he in? No, this is single. I'm saying single? the same. It was Shabuzi, Post Malone, Lainey Wilson. And that song did numbers too. Yeah. I had some help. This maybe, so... maybe because Post Malone is still a little bit new, but Shabuzi, he's been doing this. But for Morgan Wallen is like you know, big. Mm. Morgan Wallen won Entertainer. Oh. I don't know what that category went is, but new artist is Megan Moroni. We did see her on the list. She just dropped some, but she's like number 90 or 80 something. Yeah. Though. For me, I don't think there's any reason that Shabuzi. Shabuzi is the name. Like, look, look at the name. Megan Moroni, cool, you know her. Shabuzi, Nate Smith, mm -hmm. Bailey Zimmerman, Michelle Based Tintin, on that, his exactly. record, is, his, his song is still on number one on the charts alone. Because that's what we do with Taylor Swift. That's why we are assuming Taylor Swift is going to get all these awards because she's been on the list for a long time. I, I would say, I would put it simply like this. The fact that us non-country fans know that song and hear it everywhere being mm -hmm. non-country fans, I think it's really long. I'm, 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 no, well, I'm getting more into country now too, like I have been listening to it, but... Now you want to include yourself? No, I'm, I'm saying I have been listening yeah. to it, but... The fact that the song kind of transcended country, I feel like based on that yeah. itself, it should have... Like this main, went yeah. mainstream. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's a country song that went mainstream. It should have won based Maybe on they that. don't like that. They like it to keep it more, you know, in-house. Don't you think? 
Let me see who else one other was. Because you, I would think, okay, did Morgan Wallen get an award? For he won. Like, he won the entertainer. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. Yeah, not that many awards, honestly. Mm. But yeah. Because if it's mm. like, oh, okay, let's keep it classical country, not into too much of the mainstream. Some I people don't like to break, you know, you know, that, the that, norm, the status quo. That would explain why uh, Post Malone didn't win nothing either. Yeah, that would be breaking status status quo. I mean, you have a point if that's what they want to do, I guess. Mm -hmm. But you know, crazy does play a factor, <laughs> and people can deny it all they want to, but it does play a factor, and not only that. I think he got snubbed because he took up for Beyonce. Now, oh. Beyonce wasn't nominated at the CMAs at all. And that was a big conversation piece, too, because her album, Cowboy Carter, was one of the highest selling country albums of the year. And she had a number one hit called Texas Hold'em. But that's the thing, though. When we were saying something about, like, I think maybe the Grammys, uh, when we talked about Beyonce and country, some of you said it's not even a country album. It only has, like, three country songs. Mm. So it was like, is it country? Mm. Is it not country? You know? So even though I wasn't, like crazy, I feel you you can be when you want pop album and then you. I think she even says it's a Beyonce album, not a country so album. So if it's not a country album, then you can't really be mad at country awards that they don't nominate not a country album. Like you can't, you just can't have it both. You got to pick one. About Cowboy Carter, it still left a mark and it did bring more visibility to this the newer so black cute. country artists, especially artists like Shabuzi. And I do want to say Shabuzi was already doing his thing in country music, but him doing those collaborations with Beyonce, you know, for her song Sweet Honey Bucket and her other song Spaghetti, definitely gave him more visibility, I think. It actually made more people tune into him as an artist. And he launched his album, and the album spawned the biggest hit of his career. So he always has given Beyonce credit for helping his him. career. And when he saw that she got snubbed by the CMAs, he spoke out in support of her and said, that goes without saying, thank you, Beyonce, for opening a door for us, starting the conversation, and giving us one of the most innovative country albums of all time. Now, I'm going to be honest, I think him speaking out in support of Beyonce is probably another reason why he was snubbed by the CMAs, too. <laughs> because it's clear that the CMAs don't really fool with Beyonce like that, ever since Beyonce indirectly called them out. For I view it a little differently. I think you have a great point that they kind of want to keep it like a you know that it's, it's ex cool. exclusive yeah. club i don't think it's it has to do about Sh shabuzi specifically because to me post malone also didn't win which that song was also to me more popular than chris stapleton's song so i feel like it's not about shabuzi not about what he said about beyonce because then post malone would have won mm -hmm. i feel like post malone did have like a, a banger too mm -hmm. like that's on morgan wallen who's like an icon I feel too like with country they want to keep like cardi b uh, out of it you know like they don't want like artists to come in and just dip their toes I, into the space i and think i think you're right i think they're just trying to be the exclusive boys club yeah. or boys club or whatever and that's why post malone didn't win and shabuzi I, I think it has to do more so with that than shabuzi speaking out for not making her feel welcome that one year she performed back in 2016 and for that reason that's why beyonce didn't get nominated also see chicks <laughs> I feel like they've had somewhat of a grudge against her. And this is probably one of the main reasons why she wasn't acknowledged at all. And it's so interesting because I do remember one of the country music artists named Luke Bryan coming out and saying that Beyonce needed to hang with the country artists and immerse herself in the whole right. be part of the you know, mm -hmm. country club, you know, whatever. country music scene if she wants to be acknowledged. And I do know that if you want to break through the country music scene, you have to go through certain channels. And this is what Kay Michelle talked about, too, because she's been trying to break through as a country music artist. But it kind of dawned on me that it really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, they're not going to embrace Beyonce in the same way they would embrace a Post Malone. They're just not going to. Like, it, it's, it, it's, it's because of her race, y'all. She's black. That's why. Let's be real. Oh, I don't feel like Post Malone was embraced either because he didn't win nothing in the awards, you know? Mm -hmm. That's why. And Shabuzi is one of the artists who went through all the proper channels. But he was snubbed too, so that should tell you something. It don't matter whose hand you shake or who you kiss up to or who you collaborate with. It don't matter. Well, I think with Post They're... Malone, he was able to collab with a lot of country artists. He got, Post Malone has iconic country names with collabs. Yeah. Yes, he does. He does. I don't see that with Shabuzi. I don't know. Did he ask and got rejected? Then yes. Maybe he didn't ask. I don't know. It's hard to say. We don't know. We're black. <laughs> That's what it really boils down to. And 
it's not funny it's unfortunate but at this point i don't even think that beyonce or shabuzi should even be tripping over a i think a lot will say if shabuzi wins in grammys or not i think if he doesn't win anything in grammys then yeah if he does manage to win grammys then i wonder if this will impact the grammys decision i don't think it should i think it's a separate awards because i definitely these are think people these I, are all ordinary people i definitely think he deserves a lot maybe not a lot but at least a couple of mm. awards at the oh definitely so, for, for this this record this mm. song alone record country ratings. music award i think it will be more of a victory for them if they actually won a grammy because they both were nominated so i hope they win i do hope beyonce gets one of those yeah, big the grammys would be way bigger than they'll cmx who cares mm. about cmx i didn't even know they happened last time Grammys like album of the year it does matter because if he identifies as a country artist you want to be recognized in your okay, space by, I, your I get your point. by your peers by your their peers right i get your point i for that award for a very long time and honestly i, I guess my comment was just coping i want her to win it i really do and it's not it's so much tapping. that she needs it at this point in her career but I would like her to get her lick back at the country industry. I'm not going to lie to you. And it goes beyond that. This is not just about her getting redemption for her Cowboy Carter era, but it's about her breaking down barriers and also reclaiming a genre that was kind of snatched away from black people. You know, so I hope she wins and I hope Shabuzi wins a Grammy too. He deserves it. So that's all I have to say about that. Now, moving on, I want to rave about the girl group Flow. They dropped their debut album, Access All Areas, I and I was listening to it all weekend, Ooh. and I have to say, I really, really enjoyed this album a lot. And one thing about Flo is, they make some good music. I have yet to hear a bad song from them. <laughs> like, they have been so consistent in delivering good music, high-quality production, high-quality vocals, the harmonies, the stacking, everything they do musically is just A1 to me. A1. I wonder how they all know each other. The girls? Mm -hmm. I don't remember if uh, anybody told us or not. Like where they put together, where they friends. I feel like somebody told us, but I don't want to say something that might not be. I don't remember. They've definitely studied the greats from Destiny's Child to SWV. Yes, they remind of Destiny's Child a lot. To even Little Mix. I mean, they have studied and have delivered. And I just really, really want to see this group win. I love that they're continuing to carry on oh, this R&B girl this group friend, tradition friend. because I feel like every generation needs that. They need a SWD. They need a Destiny's Child. They need a Chloe and Halle. They need a June's Diary. And I'm still upset that June's Diary did not get their just due. I'm still not over that because that was a really, really, really good girl group. Really but I like the fact that Flo came in and picked up that torch and said, no, we're going to keep this going. So I'm just really here for this group and I wish these all the best are cute. For them. And as far as their album is concerned, like I said, I love the album. There are so many songs that I really like on this album too. Triple A, Access All Areas is probably my favorite song on the album, but I like On and On. I like Shoulda, Coulda, Woulda. I love Hot Up. I like How Does It Feel. I love Saw. I like everything if I'm being honest. Now, I would have loved if they included Fly Girl featuring Missy Elliott. That should have been on the album in my opinion. But I really have no complaints besides that. I think every song is cool. I liked In My Bag as well. That's a very cute record, very fun. It featured Glorilla, and I liked the video. I saw the video, and I instantly thought of Star. <laughs> I don't know. The choreography and the whole scene was very reminiscent of something I've seen from the TV show Star. Mm -hmm. And that's a compliment, by the way. I know some people compare Flo's music to Star music or Empire music as a way to kind of... I've never watched Star. I've heard of it. It's like kind of... I feel like it's Empire, but with pop music more mm -hmm. so, so I never watched it, but... Clown them or call them corny, which is so weird to me. If you listen to Flo's music, it's really more reminiscent of Y2K R&B. That's yeah. where they get a lot of their references from, and I love their sound, honestly. I think it's... Yeah, I feel like we've been saying in our reactions, yeah. basically Destiny's Child, that's the closest thing to me. Great, I think it's a breath of fresh air, and I'll tell you one thing. If any of these pop girlies or these K-pop girlies were to make the music that Flo makes, people would be eating it up, trust and believe. If Blackpink were to drop a song called In My Bag or if Sabrina Carpenter or any of these other pop girls were to drop a song similar to that, it would be a hit. So, She has a point. Mm -hmm. I do think if Blackpink dropped a song like that, because in my, the, all of her songs, their songs are good. Like, mm -hmm. it's that classic Destiny Shah's R&B song, you know, so... I definitely th feel like yeah, if Blackpink switched up into R&B and dropped it, people would eat it up. 
Well, it's kind of weird to me how people are trying to criticize Flo for making music like that. But it's to be expected. Anytime black women are doing something big, they're going to be nitpicked. So I just think Flo needs to tune out all the noise and the hate and continue doing what they're doing because it's working. Now, lastly, I want to talk about the artist Cash Doll because she released her album, The Last Doll. The Last Doll. And I have to be honest, I like this album too. I really do. And I've always liked Cash Doll. I honestly think that she's underrated. She could actually rap. She actually gives range when it comes to her subject matter because I do feel like I a lot of the before. other rap she's girls pretty talk good. I don't have you reacted to her? No, she's been like she hasn't put out music in a long time. About sex a lot and a lot of their subject matter is just really empty. But Would with you Cash Doll, she actually gave range, especially on this album. She dedicated a few of her songs to her children. She talked about her relationship. You know, she talked about being a boss, talking about having standards. And she has some fun music. She has some turn-up music. I mean, it was a cool album. I liked it. And my favorite song on the album is Nothing New. I've had that song on repeat, literally. I love it, love it, love it. And her album overall is empowering, relatable, fun, hood, but classy album. And I would say the one critique I do have for Cash Doll's music is I wish she had better production. I think if she had stronger production, it would take her music to the next level because I do think her sound is slightly dated. It's not bad, but it could be a little more modern in my opinion. But I think the dated, I feel like maybe she's going for that in her oh, audience. Yeah. yeah, if like I grew up listening to 2000s, so somebody drops a 2000s album, which honestly I was listening to J. Cole's mixtape today that he dropped yesterday. That shit is strong, this throwback. Like, mm. That shit is hot. So for me, it's ooh, fire, but I feel like for the young kids, they might be like, and, you know, dated. It mm. does sound like from back then, but for me, it throws me back. I like it, you know? So I think if her audience is like people in their, you know, 30s, 40s, and she dropped an album for them, then it's not really dated. That's just her audience. She's not going for the teenagers, you know? Because mm. even if her subject matter is her kids, like, teenagers can relate to that. So it might just be that. Overall, I think Cash Doll just has it, and it just sucks that she's underrated. And I kind of feel like, you know, she kind of missed her wave a little bit because she was stuck in a bad contract for years. So when she had the moment to strike the iron when it was hot, she couldn't, and people kind of moved past her. But honestly, I think she's one of the more underrated female rappers out there. I do. But anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like. Alrighty. Okay, guys, of course, that is your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord, and as always, 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 share as much kindness as possible.